channel. Today we're doing a pack opening. It's been a while since I did one of these uh, for the competitive season. I actually only had time to play two games for round two. I went 2-0. and oh. Round two I finished 1400 and 1700 for the season. So uh, like I mentioned, you have too much time to play. But we got uh, seven packs so open. It's got some choice packs. We're going to look into the cards we could possibly get. The Owen Nolan. I already did this set and sold him previously. We got a really nice entry draft card. So Dalene, uh, Sveshnikov, Sedina, and uh, Hayden. So looking forward to potentially get one of those cards. Sedina or Sveshnikov would be really cool to have. I already have that uh, Dalene 99 overall. We got Kreider and Savinajad for plays of the year. And a crazy team that we need. So hoping we can get some big pulls here. Also, I'm really close to getting that Master of Zetterberg. Just need a few more collectibles for my fourth player. And we got 70k in the bank as you can see. So basically what's nice about those sets, cards usually go for about uh, the same amount of this set. Uh, for example, Robitaille, I did him for 200k. He does go for less than 200k now, his price drop. But uh, I sold, I'm selling Robitaille, Ben, etc. So I uh, gotta go right into the packs, gonna go entry drive choice pack number one and see what we can get. Alright, so round one. Alright, so a silver collectible, that's really good. So I'm looking to get those collectibles, of course, for the set. So we're gonna take a collectible, take the contracts, and let's take the uh, injury card. Gonna go into round two, so silver collectible off the bat, so that's not bad. So Kevin Miller and a bronze collectible. All right, so Stone, Barchi, Donskoy, Smith, and Brown. Let's go with the collectible Stone, and doesn't really matter who we take here. All right, round number three. Let's see if we can get any good pulls. So another silver collectible. That's really good. Wow, a couple of silver collectibles in the first pack. So Anti Ranta, Kyle Connor, and that's going to be a Melker Carlson. Let's take the uh, rare players and of course a collectible. And NHL free agency yesterday. It was a pretty crazy day in the sport world. Not only did uh, LeBron James sign with the Lakers, of course, a lot of NHL moves. John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf. I mean, for him, I feel like it's a really good uh, move. He's from Toronto. He's going to thrive there. And that team's offense is just insane. Of course, you got Tavares, Matthews, and Kadri for your top three. And it pretty uh, it sucks for me being a Habs fan and with them being our rivals but they're definitely gonna be fun to watch and uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting year all right round number two so Johansson Brian Boyle and see what color we'll get so we get a bronze so Ryan Johansson a pretty good gold base card that we pull it's not bad all right let's get a good pull here round number three these packs which you don't have a lot with them, just the cheapest packs, but uh, uh, Yaroslav Halak, now part of the Boston Bruins. And a bronze, and Mike Green, and let's take Halak, alright. Okay, so let's see, we got uh, premium choice packs, we got four of them, we only have one entry draft choice pack left, so let's get that one out of the way. Get to the premium choice packs, and we get a bronze collectible, right? Hopefully get enough collectibles to make uh, at least one more set because for Markov we only need a few bronzes. I already got enough bronzes in this pack and uh, for Pavelski or team name which I'll do next so it'll be nice to get at least a gold. Uh, if not, silvers will definitely help. Alright, round number three. Alright, let's go one by one here. So Marcus, Johansson, Slater Cuckoo, Soderberg. Garrison in a silver collectible. All right, so we've got a I think this is our third or fourth silver collectible So that's great All right premium entry draft choice packs. Here we go. So these I'm Feeling we get at least one good pull. Maybe a team that we maybe one of those entry draft cards. Let's see All right, so we can coach a couple contracts and a bronze collectible. Let's take these two cards here Round number two let's See what we get so Joe Pavelski Felino Hannafin, Bronze Collectible, and Morgan Riley, as well as Dylan Larkin. So let's see the collectible, and of course, gonna take Joe Pavelski. Alright, so an 87 in round two, not bad. Let's see if we can get any good pulls here in round three. So Jeff Skinner, Zach Wawrinski, Big Buff, Dustin Bufflin, a Bronze Collectible, and Ryan Getzlaff. So we're gonna take Getzlaff and the collectible, of course, for this round. 
Alright, let's go in the middle pack here and take the left and the right afterwards. I'm gonna skip this round here. So the collectible and contract. On number two, Felino along with Parise, Puyarvi, Aho, Connor, and a bronze collectible. Say the collectible and let's take uh, Zach Parise as well. I actually got a Parise jersey, the Minnesota Wild home one, the green one. Really nice jersey. All right, Stone. Alex Galchenyuk, uh -huh, now part of the Arizona Coyotes, of course. Gonna miss him in Montreal. Corey Crawford, I met Crawford while he was playing for my hometown Wildcats, so it's pretty cool. Bronze Collectible, Lucic, and Pavelski once again. So let's take a Collectible and just take Pavelski, he's the highest overall. Down to two packs left. Unfortunately, nothing more than the gold base cars. We did pull a few silver Collectibles, which is nice. Still looking for one big pull. At least one, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> Alright, round number two. Let's see what we get through. Jake Muzzin, Craig Smith, Borgstrand. Boy, Borgstrand. Can't pronounce that name. Wedberg and Austin Matthews. So let's see Matthews and a collectible. Alright, here we go. Round number three. Give me something good, yay. Let's go. So Will Butcher, McAvoy, Roman Yossi. So not bad gold base cards, but uh, nothing that we're going to keep. And Jake gets so seed collectible and Roman Yossi. One pack to go. Alright, last chance, guys. Let's see if we need to buy that silver. Uh, let's see if we need to buy that gold collectible or not. And we get a silver. Alright, so a lot of silvers coming in. That's really good. Silver right off the bat. Alright, so we got one in the first pack and in the last pack. So round number two. Scott Darling, Claude Giroux, Andre Palat. Bronze Butcher and Philip Forsberg. So it takes you the highest overall as well as the collectible. Here we go, the last round. This is it. So, a silver collectible once again. So, these collectibles are all over the place. I love that. So, Minaja, Jack Eichel, Nathan McKinnon, Roman Yossi, and Nikita Kucherov. So, that's not a bad uh, pack considering it's all gold base cars. I mean, Kucherov, one of the best base cars you can get. Got a lot of silver collectibles. So I'm going to go into the sets right now guys just to show you guys uh, the progress that I did and see if we can actually uh, potentially complete this. So I did the Robotai, did the Ben, I did the Bufflin. Uh, let's see what we have. So for Markov I only need, I believe it's four bronze collectibles and the gold collectible I actually already bought earlier. I'm going to put that in set. Let's see. All right, so three bronzes. We're going to get Andre Markov. Got four out of five uh, master collectibles for the uh, Zetterberg set. So that's great. All right. Going to get Markov done. All right, so I'll do either Team Nin or Pavelski. Lundqvist is just too expensive to make with the three golds. So for Zetterberg, I'm going to go show you guys the collectibles. So this is what you get. These are the master collectibles. Basically just look like the normal uh, silver collectibles. But every time you do a set, you get one of these. So I'll get one more from Markov. And uh, one left. So Pavelski or Team Nin, doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Joe Pavelski. So first of all, just going to get... Gonna use the collectibles that I got in the packs. I believe it's 10, so we're gonna have three extras. Yeah, all right, so we're the silver ones. I should have three. Let's see, all right, yeah, we got five. All right, so we even have a couple extras. And I don't think I have enough for the gold because I think they go for either 80 or 90K. So maybe 10 short, but let's go take a look. So 80K. Oh, look at that, 77, so we're only 70k, let's go. We're gonna get the master Henrik Zetterberg. We're gonna get that right now, guys. We're gonna go put that in the set for Joe Pavelski. For the unopened packs, we can get the Markov. I don't know if I'm, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna sell him or keep him. I mean, I just, I love Andre Markov being a Habs fan. I definitely miss him. They brought back Placanic from Toronto. I'm just hoping Markov may come back someday from the KHL and go to Montreal. Never know, might come back. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna do the Master Henrik Zetterberg set. 
Now, I may just sell him depending on how much he goes for because, I mean, it's a sick card. I mean, the synergies on this and the stats are insane. So, we're gonna, gonna go take a look at the card together. Here we go. Henrik Zetterberg is acquired. All right. I do have a few collectibles to spare, so... I uh, don't know if I'm gonna bother doing another set. I'll make just sell the collectibles that are left. But I'm gonna go in the unopened packs. 99 overall, Master Henrik Zetterberg. We get another Tampa Bay Free Agency collectible, and we get a Master collectible for that as well. So look at that card. I mean, 10 synergies. He's 99 everywhere except a few areas of defense. Got rocket skates, fine shooting, precision passing, silky spoon, and thread and needle. So pretty good synergies on that card. And uh, just for fun, let's go see how much he goes for in the market right now. Definitely, his price gonna go up after the um, after his set. His uh, after people can't do the set anymore. Usually, the price goes up, but uh, I'm guessing two to three hundred k right now. Just my guess. Could be less. Could be more. I can't see it being under two or two fifty. I mean, ninety nine overall with ten synergies. Let's go take a look. So there he is, Henrik Zetterberg. I did have the friends in earlier in the year. So um, it's the second Master Red Wing that I have. All right, so 265, 410. So between 250 to 300K, I was right. So that's a really good amount. If I decide to sell him, I should get one or two 99s. Um, and speaking of 99s, let's go take a look at the team. I'm gonna give you guys a team update because we now have 10 99s on the squad. I'm gonna go in that right now and show you guys. So line one, Barzell, Shifley, McDavid. Uh, line two, Sadin, line eight, Kuznetsov. Line three, Hosa, Marcius, so Matthews. I did have Robotai here, but as I mentioned, I am uh, putting him on auction. Crossfield, Pasternak. Defense got Carlson, got that 99, Dalin. 99 goes with Weber, PK, and Chara. We still got our 94, Ruby, Vasilevsky. Always been using him, except I use Rene and Flurry, but uh, I found that Vasilevsky was the most consistent there. So just to show you guys my auctions that I have right now, I did have a bunch of um, these uh, award collectibles that I never gonna use. Got Listrim up for 15k and Robotai. I did put it for 200. Uh, last time I checked, the price did go down. So I don't see anybody buying him, so I'm probably gonna put him lower, or I may just keep him on the squad, I never know. Um, so auctions ending in 10 minutes anyway, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the video So master Zetterberg is on the team Unfortunately, no big pulls in the packs, but we did get a lot of silver collectibles which shaved us some coins and uh, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day